theory has gained momentum when NASA admitted that it had lost, lost the original footage of man's first steps on the moon. YouTube and watch a funny thing happened on the way to the moon. It contains newly discovered evidence, which is part of the missing tapes, of outtakes from the first mission to the moon of them falsifying a shot of being halfway to the moon. You have to ask yourself, if Lindbergh flew across the Atlantic in 1927, would it be 50 years before anyone of any nation on earth flew across the Atlantic in an airplane and that's what we're to believe. If it were so easy to go to the moon 40 years ago, there would be bases there by now. The, the initial landings between 1969 and 1972. Is that your basic point? Well, that's one of the points. First of all, we found never before seen footage of them faking part of the photography, which is in a funny thing happened on the way to the moon, which has been licensed five times and can only now be viewed on YouTube. Like Uh, Aaron, uh, you know, tell us uh, why you have changed your mind and now become a skip. Sure. Thanks for having me on, Geraldo. I really appreciate it. Um, well, let me first uh, clarify. I was paid by the state of Ohio in 1999 to spend a year trying to prove we actually landed on the moon. And I was a total believer, Wait, Geraldo, wait, wait. You were paid with taxpayer money uh, from the state of Ohio? The state of Ohio. Yep, the state of the Ohio governor? Said, I mean, another issue. But uh, go ahead, tell us more. <laughs> anyway, so I took a year and I traveled across the country. And folks, I've actually posted it on YouTube. It's called Did We Go? And the challenges, Geraldo, everywhere I went, it was just amazing. Moon rocks falling in Antarctica, Neil Armstrong's silence. But I was the first to report, and you played the clip earlier tonight, that all the science data, the telemetry data, was missing. Now, Geraldo, for NASA to come out and say that all the tapes were erased, I mean, you must, it's incredible. Geraldo, this isn't just one tape. This is rooms of tape labeled Apollo 11 moon landing. Someone had to physically go and erase it, and it just... You know, I really, in my heart, Geraldo, I want us to go, and I know all your viewers want us to go. But if you watch my film over and over again, and I don't know if you have the clip of me trying to laser range off the moon. Okay. I, I, you know, it's very challenging to try to prove we landed on the moon, and it shouldn't be challenging. The tape should be there. There should be plenty of evidence. This thing, but how in the world do you erase the tapes of the most historic event in 2,000 years? I mean, it's not like it was a bar mitzvah. You know what I mean? And uh, Bill, the one, you're the one guy on the panel who hasn't swung it uh, or been punched by uh, Buzz Aldrin. Uh, you say Buzz and his buddies really went. Absolutely. I and the like evidence is overwhelming. By the way. Evidence overwhelming. Absolutely. And the so growing you just skepticism think about it. All among the young sailors people. On those, all the sailors on the aircraft carriers who watched the thing come back, the thousands well, they, of people who were at actually in a, Canaveral. Their story is that they were in a transport airplane. They threw the, the thing out of the transport airplane. At land. Anyway, I want to thank uh, Bart Sabrell, uh, Aaron Raynard, and, of course...